हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर तलहा एंड टूडे सीशन इज अबाउट अ न्यू एंड यूनिक टाइप ऑफ फीडिंग कार्ड गेस्ट्रोस्टोमी फीड एंड टूडे वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ वी गिव अ गेस्ट्रोस्टोमी फीड टू अ बेबी दिस बेबी इज बींग फीड थ्रू अ गेस्ट्रोस्टोमी ट्यूब यू कैन सी ऑन यूर स्क्रीन द ट्यूब इज पास टू हे स्टोमिक डायरेक्टली इट इज ऑल्सो कार्ड अ जी ट्यूब शार्टली इट इज अ स्मॉल फीडिंग पाइप दैट इज सर्जिकली प्लेस डायरेक्टली इन टू द बेबी स्टोमिक थ्रू द एबडामिनल वॉल usually near the belly button uh, this type of uh, feeding is done when a baby cannot take milk or formula feed or mother feed safely by mouth or through a nasal or oral tube for a long time common reasons include like babies with neurological problems uh, severe reflux or some sort of uh, short gut syndrome like in case of uh, baby muqaddas and some cases of uh, not some but mostly cases of uh, post surgery conditions or long term feeding difficulties before giving the feed we always make sure the tube position is correct the area is clean and the baby is stable today the feed we are giving is pediatrical it is a nutritionally balanced and faint formula designed for babies who need extra calories and complete nutrition it contains essential carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and other important minerals that help in growth and recovery the baby you are seeing is a post surgery baby admitted in our nicu the feed is given slowly and gently through the gastrostomy tube allowing the baby's stomach to tolerate it comfortably remember one thing it should never be pushed forcefully and feeding should always be calm and slow either it is a nasogastric tube or oral tube feeding for uh parents who have babies with gastrostomy or post surgery condition remember care at home is very important and always keep the feeding site clean and dry wash your hand before handling the tube and preparing the feed if you notice any redness swelling leakage or discharge around the tube contact with your consultant immediately sometimes babies can have vomiting abdominal distension blockage of the tube or infection at the site these are possible complications that need medical attention so parents should immediately contact their doctor always make sure the baby's head is slightly raised uh, during and after the feed to avoid reflux this is the most important thing and another most importantly don't lose hope these babies can recover and grow beautifully with proper care patience and regular follow up with their medical team thank you for watching this is a part of our ongoing effort to educate and support parents for caring for fragile babies in the nicu and beyond